for him, but the counter pick is going to be Lee I mean, Sin. They for pick Spencer. it in the position that it could be a counter, but by no means is Lee Sin a counter pick to Rek'Sai. You guys at home, we might be in the final game here. Tweet at Lil Esports, hashtag IMT win or hashtag TSM win. Five people could be top lane real quick here. Pobalter flash W into the ulti, into the simple first blood. Root lands on a double if he has nowhere to go. Exhausted, killed off by Wild Turtle. Pobalter gets a shield. What a good start for Immortals. So. Uh, definitely say he's comfortable with it as well, but he could be caught out here. Very much alone. Does self ult to block the back half of the Lee Sin Q. Flash knockout comes in from Rek'Sai, but it's still Svenskeren who stays alive. And Hauntzer, using the TP there, actually had to cancel it. Okay, so Maokai can really not touch him at all since yeah. he's got the Dorns and Warlord's Bloodlust. Warlord's up there. Already. And now a tower. Oh, here we actually. come. TP advantage. Empowered Shield comes in. Easy route on a double. They target him, and that's got really nowhere to go in this Kalista. Which way will Janna run away, actually? He knows he would die if he tried to. Oh, oh the juke! The dodge on the ulti. Hootie's teleport does not do actually anything except maybe burn a summoner heal. Double and Yellow Star stay alive, but they burn four summoners, and top lane turret will go down. The bot lane outer turret was traded equal. And now it's a mismatch over there as Hauntzer is alone oh, against trouble. three. They put the teleport ward down in case they need Povelter. And he here he comes. Svenskeren over the wings. And Rainover has to get away. He will drop aggro and stay alive. Hauntzer barely took any damage from that dive. And it's a 2v4 re-engage. And nothing happened to him at all. Just stays afloat. Doesn't care at all. And that has got to be some flashbacks to game oh. one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have some PTSD over this map. <laughs> They're just like, oh, God. Oh god, we can't kill him. He, yeah. he had completed the Sunfire Cape, right? And looks like there's gonna be no contest here. So Dragon number one of this game will go cleanly to TSM. Especially when you consider uh, that Hauntzer is building much more for the team fight. You know, he's picked up a cowl that's not gonna help him against the Graves. Meanwhile, top side fight. Ooh, oh. good flash away. Rainover would have gotten kicked back to the team by Svenskara. Now the cleanse popped by Bjergsen to stay alive, but there's still a clock coming in. Into the root, but the nasty helps him stay alive. He gets out of the root himself. TP in from the Maokai. There's the root. There's the first kill in a raid over, and it's going to be back on for another kill. Pobots are going down, and oh, you're kidding me. He's alive. He's alive. The curtain call is in, and can he get any meaningful damage? Not really. Wild Turtle misses most of the shots, does nothing good, and TSM finds a two for zero. Now the re-engage Hootie overextends into four people and just dies for it for no reason. Wastes flash on top of it. TSM coming up huge, catching kill after kill after kill. And you can smell the desperation on Hooney re-engaging on yep. Bjergsen there. Everyone's still around. He wastes his flash, gives up his life and TSM are looking good. What? Decides to extend it after they lost. Yeah, and Paul Belzer caught out again here. Could be going down. Self ults to heal himself a little bit, but he's still got nowhere to go. Quick knockup, and the kill goes through Svensker. Oh! 1-0-1. Great ulti in by Double to keep Yellow Star safe and running away. Just got to stand in front of him. Well, it's still going to be some damage on Svensker. It's W up. That doesn't matter. The final shot came through. He stayed alive on this Lee Sin and out walks TSM with another kill. You know, one bright spot though for Immortals, uh, Turtle is is very far ahead still. Still, he's still at 45 CS. He has his two completed items, so this is a very strong Jin. You know, uh, can definitely go bad for you, especially with the Maokai who has that counter. Here it comes. Teleport from Sonder. Adrian losing a ton of HP, and now the push in towards the Rek'Sai. Who goes for the flash knockup, and here come the teleports. Who's gonna survive? Who's gonna die? Oh, Bull Belzer gets to do nothing at all. Gets popped and destroyed. A trade back on the Yellow Star, though. Four versus four, and here comes the Maokai. Hauntzer's in, and Raidover will go down despite the knockout coming through. A two for one in favor of TSM. Now the flash engage toward Wild Turtle, and Bjergsen gets revenge on his ex-teammate. Another trade back by Hootie, trying to stay alive, getting the shield from Adrian, but he's still left alone. The flash means nothing. A double kill for Bjergsen. And they go for the fight, and it doesn't work. TSM stays close in the game. They're now dead even in gold as they try and push mid after a 4-for-2 fight. And Yellowstar did get blown up in that fight. Uh, Huni okay. ultimate comboed it right away, so that's okay. why we didn't get to see the Entomb for that long. This time it goes for double lift. Plenty of damage. The knockout's going to be landed there, and it's, is it going to be enough damage? The ulti in. Now the knockout to come through from Fates. Call. Oh. Red means a kill, but the root will land in a curtain call. Can he block oh enough damage? Hell, oh, Wild Turtle snipes him down to keep his team in the game. Now the push in for Yellowstar, who has almost nowhere to go. The root's going to land the snipe through, and Adrian does have to take the kill. But it's a two for one in favor of Immortals to try to claw back in. Yeah. Our Dragons have actually been stacking up pretty consistently for TSM most of this series. And not always just because they have map control. It's just something that they've actually controlled pretty well overall. 
We can see Huni in a battle with Haunter. He actually chose to give Red Buff away to the Jin, and now he's gonna get jumped on. One versus three. He could not make this outplay happen. He will get popped. Yellow and shot. suddenly, Pobelter's here, looking for the big play. Self folks, but now comes the rest of the team. It's a 5v4. Pobelter buying as much time as he can. It's gonna be the root on his fence group, but they're not gonna get any more damage. Now Haunter in the front lines nearly gets dropped down, but he's gonna stay alive in this one. Uh, now it's Bjergsen running away, back in a rain over, a second kill, trade it back on a yellow star, another route in for Hanser, but they're gonna trade it back in, and now the damage on towards Wild Title. It's a bunch of kills, and it's an ace! A triple for Bjergsen! What a brilliantly played team fight by TSM. Svenskare dancing around on the back lines. The front line staying protected by Yellow Star, by the Maokai. Haunts are doing his limits perfectly, and they're going for Baron. Those are the team fight mechanics TSM was hoping for when they put this roster together. But it all started because Hootie was getting aggressive in that split push. And he Impressively so. Looking for the 3 0 is TSM. Now the root's going to land. Svenskare down a half HP. This could be a decent fight, but of course, Baron buff is still on three members for another minute. Immortals need to get something Teleport working. Teleport in behind from Poe Belter. Looking for the play, looking for the hard engage. What can they even find? Haunts or Pops ulti. Immortals can wait it out and re-engage when that does time out. When will they go in? Do they even have the ability to do so? Yeah. Dragon 4 spawns, TSM running towards it. Yeah, and, and Haunts are stepping back in front, popping the ulti more than enough to ward uh, Immortals away. They know they don't want to engage through that. They don't have the ability to do it. <laughs> and a, and a bit of an impressive stat is the 4,000 gold he's all up. Oh, here. it's another fight. Here we go. Double They're going to go. He's they got double him. That's a huge deal. Rainover stays alive. Immortals in a 5 versus 4 team fight, but it's going to be Rainover getting shields, trying to stay alive, and he does so. Adrian keeps him up. Now the re engage on a Hauntzer who gets over the wall onto Hootie, and Graves might be sent to his. No, he stays alive. More shields in, but now Rainover's reign is going to be over. Two more kills for TSM. Now the curtain call, hoping to make it just that for TSM. Yellow oh running away, but he sniped Ooh. one off, and the damage is coming through. The W snipe only hitting onto Bjergsen. It's a two for two kill spread so far. That was a flash karma E. They want to keep chasing this. Will he be able to? Oh, look at the damage coming back from Bjergsen. Hootie has to be careful. Oh, oh my wow. God. Hootie nearly gets chunked out. Bjergsen with a 70% crit chance build. Yeah, it's just not worth the risk, especially when you've already lost. Look at that Bjergsen. damage in the team fight. Eight yep. and a half thousand by Bjergsen. And seven, seven and a half, and a half thousand turtle. wild turtle. Yeah. Former teammates. It used to be Turtle and Bjergsen would turn it on in playoffs. And then TSM would win. Turtle trying his best to stop TSM streak. To be fair, there still could be Turtle and Bjergsen turning it on in playoffs and TSM winning. It's just oh, here's Hauntzer on the backside. And looking for the play right there. Good knockback, and that's going to be Karma gone. Adrian is dead. Now the 5v4 in TSM's favor. A knockup, and again, on to Rainover. Two kills for TSM. Minute and a half roughly on Dragon. Baron's up in 15. There'd be a 5 with you to try it. As they are just going to kind of pink towards mid lane and, and just try to get something done, but... Immortals are able to slink forward now. They see where Hansa is. They've got Huni on the wings, and they're trying to fight before the Dragon goes down. A quick root on a Double Spence Karen. on the Dragon AOE right shield now. in. Yeah, Dragon's being attempted here, and it's going to be the chance of a steal. Can they get it? That answer is likely to be no. There is the Dragon picked up. Here's the re-engage. Maokai into the front line. This could be the final for TSM. Spence Karen's killed off Poe Belzer. Hansa staying alive in the back line. The re-engage for TSM. They're looking to close the series out. Bjergsen takes down Wild Turtle. It's a 5 feet three with Baron and Dragon 5 and TSM chance of the audience. Who could have thought that TSM would 3-0 as the sixth seed coming into this against Immortals? People were saying they were going to be better than you expected, but this good? 3-0 against Immortals, and they're looking for the win. Looking for it right now. Mid lane inhibitor is gone. Solo mid looking for their seventh straight North American LCS Finals and against who else but the team that beat them last, Counter Logic Gaming. The Nexus turrets are falling. All five members are alive and all five of them deserve this one. An incredibly played series by TSM as they pick up the last few kills. They take down the Nexus and TSM are heading to the finals. Can you believe it? On the back of a 3-0. No one was saying that TSM would win this, let alone in a clean sweep over Immortals, who were 17-1 and one in the regular season. Just absolutely incredible play from TSM. So impressed by them. Bjergsen coming up huge in the final game. They're superstar, but it was Haunter, it was Fen and it was Yellowstar. These guys playing so much better in the regular season, coming up huge. What a shocking result. And it gives us what would be the least shocking final, a TSM for CLG, but based on the context, 
it's really hard to believe. This is the that first happens. time Huni and Rainover will not be making the finals. And the former teammates who did have the perfect split with Fnatic in the summer exchange hugs after that one. But <laughs> And then unreal. the lift up. Reginald, definitely very happy about his team. I got